All right, what's up, guys? Anthony here with Turbrex15, and um, hey guys. So um, I'm today I'm bringing you a video of my zombie solo strategy survival thing on town. So yeah, it's a solo strategy on town. Um, so you guys can survive high rounds on town, you know. And um, I, I promise I didn't Ron stick this from anybody. Uh, or I, I stopped saying Ron stick. I didn't steal this from anybody. Um, but uh, I found this on myself. You know, I did it myself when that while I was playing the game. Um, this isn't the original gameplay that I got it from. Um, I couldn't find the other one in theater mode, so, uh, I recreated it, and it came out pretty good in this one, too, so that just, like, uh, gives it more credibility, credibility that it, like, works. So, uh, yeah. Um, so let's get into the first tip, alright? So the first tip is to not get rid of your M1911 pistol, you know? People usually get rid of it and say, ah, oh, honey, this pistol, this pistol's whack, and, you know, heck no, nah, I don't need that stuff. And, um, no, you do need it, you know? If you want to go to high rounds and survive, um... Tie rounds, you're gonna need it, um, cause you're gonna pack a punch it. So with the Mustang and Sally, you know, um, you're gonna need to, you're gonna need to pack a punch to the Mustang and Sally because you want to kill hordes of zombies in like one or two shots of explosions. So um, rounds can go faster and uh, you can end the rounds faster, <laughs> I guess. So um, yeah, uh, that's the first tip. Uh, don't get the, don't get rid of your M1911 cause it's essential. And um. My second tip for you is, you know, this is a tip that we all do, is get Juggernaut, you know, you know, you don't want to, um, be doing, like, a rape train, uh, thing, um, without Juggernaut, you know, because you might get smacked twice and you're dead, so, uh, that's a bad thing to do, too. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. So, yeah, um, get Juggernaut also, and, uh, I didn't do this in this gameplay until, like, almost, like, the very end, but I need, I got quick revive at the end, which is a bad, bad thing. Don't do that, guys. Um, get it right at the beginning when you get Juggernaut, you know, just so you can be safe and secure if you do mess up um, during a train. Uh, so, yeah, uh, get Quick Revive early in the game, too, um, just to um, ensure that you won't go down. And if you do go down, you'll get back up and, you know, you got another try. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was the, I guess, what, third, second tip. Um, so now my second tip is, hold on, let me go to the box here. I'm gonna sip to the gameplay where I get to the box. Uh, all right, I'll do that first. Um, so the thing you want to get out of the box is a uh, assault rifle, assault rifle, or um LMG. Now you might be wondering why an assault rifle and LMG? Why can't I get you know like a launcher or a ray gun or something like that? And um, if like me, I want to go to high rounds and get um a lot of points too. So I usually what I do is like I look back and shoot and like get all those points. Um, but uh, if I do it with a ray gun, which I did get in this gameplay, you see that I wouldn't get as much points if I did have an LMG or an assault rifle. So I do get a ray gun in this gameplay, but then I traded away for a Type 25, and that was a really good choice actually, because the amount of um, points I did get uh, with the Type 25 upgrade, I think it's called the Strain 25 or something like that, um, I got way more points, and um, yeah. So uh, if you don't want to get as much points, but you want to go to high rounds, keep your ray gun and your M1911s. You'll go to those rounds faster. Um, but if you do want to get a lot of points and get to high rounds, um, I'd suggest to get an LMG or either an assault rifle uh, with a big magazine size. Uh, so yeah, um, another thing you're gonna see that I get in this uh, gameplay, um, I get EMP grenades. You know, these EMP grenades actually got me the ray gun in the first place. So. Um, you know, if you do want to get EMP grenades, um, if you do get them in the box, I suggest you do take them. Don't take monkeys because um, with the EMP grenades, um, I'll show you in the video right now. Um, you can like throw it and it will just like shut them off, stop, uh, stop the zombies from chasing you, and you know you can do your business. You know, go to the box, pack a bunch if you want. Um, the only thing you can do while they're EMP'd is that um, you cannot run or shoot your gun because then that will alert them back and be like, oh, we're back. Um, so yeah. Um, don't shoot your gun or run or sprint or however you want to say it, um, when they're EMP, you know, because that's a bad thing to do. But, uh, yeah, so um, that's the EMP grenades. If you, do get, if you do get EMP grenades, I suggest you get them because they could be very helpful. As you can see, they were helpful to me because I got the radio from this. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see what else I could say. Um, get all the perks, too, you know. Um, you want to get every almost every single perk um, in this map except uh stamina up and i accidentally got stamina up in this uh gameplay so that kind of sucked uh, after the gameplay i'm like oh i should have got double tap you know because when you get double tap in this game in black ops 2 
uh, you shoot um, two bullets in like one shot or something like that. Um, I wish I could show you, but I can't. But uh, you shoot like when you shoot like boom like that. Uh, two bullets instead of one come out, so you know it could get through those zombies faster. Um, I should have done that in this gameplay, but I didn't. So yeah. Um, and now to the strategy. Um, now I have uh, my LMG. Um, I had the Strain 25, um, but then it got the RPD upgraded, uh, the realistic um, something machine. Uh, but let's wait. Uh, let me skip to the part that I actually use. All right, so I got the RPD right there. Um, all right, so while we while I see this gameplay, um, here's another tip for you. Uh, pack a punch at the end of the round because you don't want to be pack a punching right in the middle of a train because that's a bad idea. But um, pack a punch in the middle of a round because that would just be more easier on you and stuff like that. And also get get Galva knuckles. I didn't do that in this gameplay. Um, but you know when you're out of ammo and you need something to kill the zombies with, uh, a regular knife, a regular knife just won't cut it. Uh, get it? Pun intended. Cut knife. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, so get Galva knuckles. You know, it kill them easier and. When you're in those six situations when you have no ammo. Alright, um, let's see. So now this is the part where I actually do the circle strategy. So um, you see me uh, going to like the area where it leads up to Jug. Um, I'm just going around the little fence. I'm just hugging the fence and where the car is too. Um, and I'm checking back when they're... Uh, and I'm turning my back to see if the zombies are close enough. Make sure the zombies are close enough to you. Uh, so you just like... So when you like go either other way, they won't just like come across and smack you out, right? So you gotta make sure they're close enough to you, and um, and when you're at the point where uh, the pack punches, just look back and shoot, and you'll be golden. You know that's that's essentially what the um, what the circle strategy or circle strategy is. So um, yeah, just make sure you hug hug up against the wall uh, where that fence and the car is. Um, turn back so you can see if they're close to you or not to make sure they're close because uh, if you don't they could smack you out while you're trying to turn and uh, just look back when you're near pack punch and shoot you know uh, so that's essentially it <laughs> uh, you know uh, one else two th two things you're gonna need two more things if you really want to get to high rounds um, you're gonna need patience and time um, and because <laughs> you know not everybody has time in the world to go to high rounds um, but you know if you do have the time and the patience to do it, I suggest you do it. You know, you can land yourself on a leaderboard or on a YouTube video. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. You know, uh, get yourself an LMG, um, EMP grenades if you can. Uh, don't trade away your M1911 so you can upgrade them to Mustang and Sally. Um, and get all your perks. Uh, don't get stamina up. Get double tap instead. I didn't do that by accident. And uh, yeah, um, that's kind of it. So. Uh, if you enjoy these kind of things, guys, uh, soul strategies on zombies, um, I'm always glad to find more. If you want me to find more on a farm or um, what's the other one, bus depot, uh, make sure to leave it in the comments below, and I'll make sure I'll try and find some. Um, so uh, yeah, if you don't understand anything about the rape train, just leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll surely answer them, or I'll make another video explaining how to do it, like in more detail, where I like stop the vi video in some parts where I'm doing the main uh, easter egg thing I'm not easter egg, um, main uh, solo strategy, so uh, yeah um, that's it, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like ring, very much appreciate it and if you're enjoying my content and want to see some more Black Ops 2 stuff from me um, subscribe, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll, talk to all, and I'll talk to all you guys later, <laughs> see ya